Move over Monday night football. Debate watching parties gave football some competition tonight. And News Channel 3's Tracy Lair stopped by a few of those parties. She joins us live now with a reaction. And Tracy, it sounds like everybody had fun. They sure did, and they were keeping score, CJ. Uh, debate parties seem to be a big deal right now, and you have plenty of time because the season has just begun. This debate watching party at the University Club in Santa Barbara promoted its air conditioning on a hot Monday night. <laughs> Members and guests ordered from a menu that gave people a clue into their political persuasions. They sipped Trumpinis, an absolute Secretary of State, while playing drinking games. Thousands of jobs. Once the debate began, they paid close attention from TVs in every room. Across town, the Tea Party stayed cool on an outdoor deck at Endless Summer. They didn't expect such a big turnout. We had a huge turnout here tonight, and I think that speaks to the level of enthusiasm that you see for Trump supporters. People who maybe have not voted or maybe haven't cared in a long time are really, really interested in what's going on, and people like what they heard. Well, Trump, I think, did really well. I think Clinton looked very stiff, very pre-programmed. Democrats disagree, and some took to social media to say so. I'm not sure that's going to change any minds, and I, and I replied, I'm not changing any minds by any means. It's just emblematic of the way that the media has not held Trump accountable or even to a reasonable standard. Donald Trump just doesn't, he, he doesn't make any sense. He'll say one thing and then come on and say another thing. Like, at least stick to your story if you're going to want to run our country. That's all I have to say. Who won? Hillary Clinton. People at the bar had choices. They could watch the debate or Monday night football or surfing. Back at the university club, members and guests from other countries said their friends and relatives back home are watching. Incredible. I just like the fact that people are participating in it and interested in it and actually organizing on a quite a sophisticated level, getting involved in what's ultimately going to be a very, very important decision for them. And you know, the choices are quite stark and the, the world's watching. I mean, it really is watching it to see what happens and what America chooses. And if you'd like to host a debate watching party, mark your calendars. The vice presidential candidates will debate, be debating October 4th, and then the presidential candidates will debate again October 9th. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay. Thank